Alrighty, short lesson today, adding mixed numbers. A mixed number means you have one whole number and a fraction. You're gonna add them together. And sometimes it gets a little tricky when the, uh, the fraction parts of the numbers add up to more than one. We'll talk about exactly how to do that right now. So let's do two examples. Add two and a half and one and one six. Well, look at this first. We're always gonna add these integers, these, these numbers here first. Two plus one is three. It's the first part you're gonna do. And remember the three steps we did before? Adding, okay, Make sure, if not, go back and look at your notes from 57. All right, a half plus one six. You should be getting faster at these. You should be able to see probably at this point that a half and a six, that the common denominator is six. So you have a half, that'll be three six plus one six. It's gonna be four six. And of course, four six reduces to two thirds and your answer is three and two thirds. There we go. All right, let's try another one. Same kind of thing here. Uh, you're just gonna go, okay, I'm doing the one and I'm doing the two, that's gonna be three, all right? Then I need to add a half plus two thirds. And if you want to go ahead, uh, you know, and you can make a common denominator down here. If you wanna do it in your head, just that's okay. I mean, I know sometimes mom and teacher go, well, you can't do things in your head. You gotta show your work. Oh, good Americans show their work and uh, uh. Okay, I guess that's what I'd sound like when I was like 96 years old. but. I understand that, but if you're really good at these and you know exactly what you're doing, move on, man. The idea is to get this stuff knocked out so you can finish up an important thing like milking your goats. All right, well, let's go six though. Here we go, six and a six. A half is three over six. Two thirds is four over six, right? So the whole thing is seven over six, right? So it's gonna be three and seven over six or three and seven divided by six. Well, seven divided by six, don't forget, is one and one six, right? So if you got three there and you got one there, that means you have four and one six. That's your answer. Boom, there you go. Okay, all right, let's try on page 315, the practice problems. Pause it and try A. Okay, A should be pretty simple. It's two and five six. You should have got three six plus uh, two six. All right, pause it and try B. Okay. Kind of weird here a little bit. That's going to be three and one six because you should have got one plus one is two, right? Then a half is three six plus four six. That's the same thing as this, right? Two and seven six. Well, this seven divided by six is one and one six left over, right? You add that to two, boom, three and one six. Pause it and try C. Okay, C is pretty, pretty easy. Seven and one half, it's five and two six plus one six is three six. Reduce it to one half. Okay, pause it and try D. Okay, this is, kind of, this is another kind of a funky one here. You're gonna have to get a uh, um, common denominator, which is 12. You should end up with nine, excuse me, nine twelfths plus four twelfths. That's gonna be 13 twelfths. Well, 13 twelfths is the same thing as one and then one twelfth, right? Because every fraction is a division. That's one and one twelfth added to, to four will be four, excuse me, five and one twelfth. Pause it and try E. All right, no big whoop here for E, eight and two thirds. F, try that one, last one. Okay, this is gonna be more than this. So in other words, this will be 12 and an eighth. You'll have seven and four, that gives you 11, but you'll also have a half plus five eighths. That's the same thing as four eighths plus five eighths. That's nine divided by eight. Nine divided by eight is one, which you add here, and then one more eighth, boom, there you go. Okay, have fun today. Uh, do a good job of those warm-ups. Really, don't just like get them over with. Try to focus on knocking them out, mental. Boom, boom, boom. Doing it as quick as you can and using that information uh, to help you do these, this problem set better. So that should do it for today. See you next time, next time at 60.